my name is Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to maintain straight hair for up to a week to two weeks. And this is going to be sweat proof and all of that. I'm going on about a week and a half without washing my hair. And I know some of you guys are like, gross, you work out and don't wash your hair. But it doesn't stink. I want my hair straight. I it took, you know, like an hour to straighten it, hour and a half to straighten it. So I want it to last. This method that I use also, I don't use heat throughout the week. The only time I would use heat to re-straighten my hair would be if I'm going out or I have something to go to that I want to get dressed up. Sometimes I don't even have to do it for that, but that's the only time I would really uh, re-straighten my hair. So for the most part, this is just how I maintain it. Now, um, little disclaimers, it will not be bone straight like the first day you got it. It will be a little bit oily and you might not be able to just wear it down. You might have to wear it up in ponytails or braids or stuff like that. But this is just how I maintain it. This is what I do. I'm not suggesting ever. this is gonna work for everybody. This is just how my hair works. And I don't mind my hair being a little oily. I don't mind having some waves in my hair. I don't mind a little poof. And I, I just like keeping my hair straight for a long time because it's so easy to do in the morning. So how I start off is my hair will be braided in a side braid uh, when I go to sleep. You can put your hair in a satin bonnet if that is what you like to do, but I would suggest braiding it uh, when you go to sleep and then putting your satin bonnet on. I sleep on satin pillowcases, so um, I don't use a, bon a bonnet all the time. When I work out, I will take my hair out of that side braid and I will slick my hair back into a nice tight ponytail. I will use my paddle brush as um, a way to brush it up and then I will use my, um, I just call it my, my slick brush. I use my my slick brush to slick my hair back. So it is super tight in my ponytail. I will cinch my ponytail to make sure it's tight. Then I will do a nice chunky braid all the way down and I will uh, put a ponytail at the bottom of it to keep it all together. So doing this will keep the top of my hair flat. It will keep it from poofing at the top. I don't know if you've ever noticed when your hair is curly, if you slick your hair back into a ponytail and then when you take it out at the end of the day, your hair will still be straight from being in that ponytail. So that's kind of the effect that I'm giving right now. So I will go through my workout and as you can see, I'm doing things that are actually making me sweat. I'm not just doing like some, you know, little easy workout. So I do get a good sweat. So the braid will keep my hair from poofing and if my hair does touch my back, it is still secured in that braid. So it will maintain my hair being straight, but it'll, when I take it out of the braid, it'll just have like a little bit of wave. So after I have completed my workout, I will keep my hair in this braid and I will put my hair into a plastic bag. You can use a shower cap, but I don't have one. So I just take a plastic grocery bag and I'll tie my hair up into it, maintaining the braid, ponytail braid that I have. And I'll take a shower and do my business. When I get out, I will not take my hair out of this slick ponytail braid. I will leave it like that because I need the sweat to dry on my head. So I'll put lotion on, put, do my makeup, uh, do whatever I have to do around the house, leaving my hair like this until it is completely dry. So once my hair is dry, I can now take it out. Um, I will take out my hair and I will just brush it out. When I do take my hair down, I will spray some of this dry shampoo. I love this dry shampoo because it does not make my hair white, but it gives it a nice scent. It makes your scalp feel clean. Um, it doesn't feel gross and sweaty. So dry shampoo is your best friend when you're trying to maintain straight hair. And I will add some of this Thermal Sleek K2 Beauty stuff that I used in my last video, or I will just add a different oil or anything to my ends, uh, kind of, you know, you just should reapply your oil anyways because your hair needs it every day. So I'll just add that to my hair and I'll brush it out and I can literally just wear it like that. Like, as you can see, there's not really any major sweat out. My hair's still pretty flat and slick on the top. And if you guys don't like this kind of poofy wavy look, you guys can style your hair however you want. And your roots are still pretty straight from being in that slick ponytail and letting it dry. So guys, this is my hair. Like I said in the beginning, after a week and a half, I, 
I like to keep my hair for two weeks. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if anyone thinks it's disgusting. I can maintain it. I can add my oil to it. I can tell when it's getting dry. Unlike when my hair is curly, sometimes I can't tell if I need oil, even though I apply it every day. But I will apply oil even sometimes two, three times a day to my hair, and I don't mind that heavy oil look. Um, if it starts getting stringy, it'll be gross but I'll wash it after that. After two weeks, two weeks is my limit. Like that's it, I will wash my hair and that's when I'll do a deep condition. I do have, I think a couple videos on um, how I do my hair after it has been straight for two weeks and I'll link that, I think it's in the description. I think it's up here or up here and you guys can watch that video. So I hope these tips and tricks work. Um, let me know down below what you guys do. I would love to hear uh, how long you guys keep your hair straight and if these tips worked for you. Let's just have a discussion down below. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.